Okay, friends, we're gonna be working on our haunted houses. What we're going to do is glue our scratch board paper, haunted house, onto our background. So I have my background here that I was working on a few weeks ago. And you're gonna get your house first. And what we're gonna do is we are going to cut it out. So I'm just gonna set this to the side. When we cut your house out, we are not gonna cut cut out each shape individually. What we're gonna do is we're just gonna cut around the edges and very tops of our building. So we wanna imagine this is one whole shape we're cutting out. I'm gonna go, I'm gonna start around the edge here. I'm being very careful, I don't wanna scratch the paper. So this is where people make a mistake. They keep going down the line and cutting, but we don't want to cut down there. We just want to cut the tops of the building up here. See how I'm doing that? So one giant house shape, okay? So make sure you're not cutting each individual piece separate. Now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take this and I'm gonna add some glue to the white part, the back of this. We're gonna hold it really firm That dries I'm gonna flip this over and we want the bottom of this to touch that black ground so it can go down into it and come forward but if it's up here it's not going to look attached to the um, ground it's gonna look like it's floating so I'm gonna come down a little bit so I have room in my sky and I still have the house going in front of some of the things you already did, like maybe it's covering up part of your tree and that's okay in art that creates space. And that is also creating some overlapping. So now it looks like the house is in front of the tree. Now, I already drew um, my moon on, but you might have not gotten a chance. So what you can use is some of these quick sticks or they're called gel crayons. For my moon, I just did a little circle like that. And then I went in with like a glowy orange. And I can glowy look. Um, if there's anything else you wanna add to your sky, you can. Um, I know some of us didn't really get to clouds or anything. Um, so you can use the white or the gray to do clouds. As for the bats, um, that I would use with a Sharpie. So let me show you how to do a bat if you want one. Basically what I do is I just kind of make like an oval for the body with two lines coming out. And then I do a curve coming out like this and a curve coming out. So it almost starts like a bird. And then I do three bumps, one, two, three, one, two, three, that go back into the wing. And then I just color that wing in. Now if, like here I had a cloud here, so I probably should have drew that bat in a different spot. But this does not go over the cloud very much. I think I'm gonna do another one, maybe just like over here, an oval. Right, the last step, friends, are our ghosts that we're gonna put in the foreground, and that's the area that's the very closest to us. So I'm gonna give you a piece of paper. And on that paper, yours is probably going to be smaller than mine. We're going to draw some ghosts. We don't want to draw them too, too big because we don't want to cover up too much, but we don't want them too small either. So we're going to make two. And how the ghost starts, I'm going to use mine with a Sharpie, but you're going to trace later. You're going to start yours with a pencil and then trace with Sharpie. I just like to use Sharpie in the video so you can see. So you're going to first start with a bump like this. And then a little bump coming off of that on each end. And then off of this one, we're gonna do a curve that comes down. And then off of this one, a curve that comes down. For the mouth, you're gonna do a big open filled in circle and then two dots for the eyes. I'm gonna go ahead and draw another one over here. It can be the same size or different. A U, two bumps like this curve that comes down here and a curve that comes down here meets. Now that we have those, we're gonna cut those out. It's cut out now. I am going to figure out where I wanna glue them, but I wanna think about space. 
um, towards the bottom and then one towards the top. Maybe you want one on this side of the paper, but the other on the right side of the paper. So what I like to do is try them in different spots first to figure out how I wanna fill that space up before I glue them. So I'm thinking that looks good, my eyes moving around. So this one's gonna go a little bit on top of my building and so is this one. So now these ghosts are gonna look like they're in the foreground, they're coming before the building. So there's my haunted house, friends. Super fun, we're gonna take these home today.